Hello everyone and welcome to the Easy Attendance app introduction. You can see here that um, it's an app designed to track student attendance um, and hopefully it can be used in a myriad of fashions um, across a lot of different subject areas. So on the Add View screen you can see the list of courses that you have added to your um, app. You can add as many as you like and then you can go about adding students to them. Now you can do a, an import from a CSV file um, and obviously you can still edit and add, it, add them manually if desired. So I'm going to edit um, view my physical education class here. It's just a dummy class but it has eight students in um, and you can add as many as you like uh, as you need, need be and what you'll see here is um, if you click on a particular student you get the student view so you can actually add a photo to that student if you desire you can amend their name and you can email a report for that particular student, um, view their details and so on. The feature I love is the add more details option where you can add other pieces of information that you might um, find useful at a, at a hand. So for example I might add parents email and now that comes out into that particular section I might go back and I might add their age and I might add in their parents phone number. Now I can populate um, this information here with, um, with data and then at the pu push of a button I can actually activate and, and call them. Same goes for an email. I can put in a, um, an email address for the parent And at the pusher button, I can email that particular parent. The good thing is that when you do send a, an email report, an option exists to send it to the parent or to the student or another um, email that you've specified. So that's the student detail at a glance, and obviously you can delete the student if need be. Now if we go back, um, we look at the random feature, and you can see here that um, you can click on your course, so we'll click on this course here again and we've got options here to group students into random groupings and you can see there that obviously with eight students in my class I'm going to have uneven groups. I'm going to put them in two groups of four. There we are and I can refresh that to get random groups more and over and over and over again. However you can add a new grouping option of up to 30 um, people per group, so really good for um, the, the large large groups that you might have. The next feature that um, you might like is the random student cycle, so you can actually cycle through your class one at a time, and if you've got a photo there it will bring it up um, and it will, or you can use it for um, whatever desire that you might have. It might be a presentation order or students are coming up one at a time to present a skill. Now finally the most important feature obviously is the attendance taking screen. So if we go and visit um, our physical education class you can see here that these are um, attendance dates and you can put them as either dates that have like post dates or you can do it um, in the future so you can see here that I've got a date that was the 6th of January obviously that's been and gone but you can add that um, at any stage you like. This is today the 12th of Jan and there is um, the 29th of Jan up and coming so you can add a date very easily just by sliding and I'll add one for the 23rd and it adds in order as well as you can see. Now um, obviously when you're ready to make an attendance, just simply tap on it and you get a list of your class with default set to all present and you can move through and you simply tap on the um, little labels and it will take you through the list of swipe on them and it will bring you through the list of different statuses that you have specified. You can then click on the particular student to see their detailed report as well. Once you have um, completed the action, you just basically you can um, you can go back and you can basically save that for future reference. The other good feature I like is the ability to add a whole class note. So press Add Note, 
and you can take a group photo if you like or of, of what they might have done on that particular day and add any sort of notational stuff that applies to the entire class. And finally the communicate button allows you to communicate the day's report for that course um, to um, a particular email or parent or uh, um, administration or whoever it may be. Eventually when I have finished it there will be a missed classes so you'll be able to actually see a report for people um, who have missed classes and so on. And that's basically the app. There's a few other things that um, have yet to be added. Um, reports and the ability to drop students out of classes and so on but there's easy attendance it's obviously designed to um, to be easy very much so um, and hopefully the the random feature is used um, for groupings and so on in PE classes one last thing I didn't show you and I think it's important is the ability to customize your own statuses so you see here the status box um, you can add your own status so these are the default present absent late and excused and the user ones are injured and no change that I have added and the important option here is treat as miss um, if you turn that to on then that injured status will actually be treated as a um, absent so there it is easy attendance um, hopefully you um, will see it on the app store in a couple of weeks and hopefully it becomes something that you can make use of thank you